So nukes aren't real. Um Oh, where do I even begin with this one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <sighs> Okay, explosions. What what is an explosion? Okay. So an explosion is you have some explosive material, you have some ignition event, this explosive material ignites rapidly, and boom, it explodes, or it implodes. Nuke is an explosion, boom, right? So we're talking about explosions here. Um, okay, so, so with, um, with fire, uh, you need to have a fuel source, and you need to have your oxygen source, and fire is, you take the oxygen, you add it to chemically bond it to whatever material it is you're trying to burn if it's burnable when you chemically add the oxygen to it then you get a flame and it burns um, based on how much oxygen you're feeding it based on the quality of the fuel how much fuel you're feeding it this combination of things determines the properties of your fire um, an explosion is a, is a subtype of fire, right? It's just a very quick boom, but it all follows the same rules, right? You need the oxygen, you need the thing you're adding the oxygen to, and then boom, it explodes, it burns it all really quickly. So why aren't nukes real? So, well, what, what's the claim of a nuke? The claim is that, um, well, that thing about claims, the claim is that they figured out how to make an explosion so efficient you can pack in just this small amount of space enough explosive to destroy the entire downtown of a city. Absolutely terrifying. And it, it, it arrives by rocket. Ooh, rockets. I don't understand those. And boom, through the sky. And then boom, before you know it, you're exploded. And the thing is, they know it's coming too, right? Uh, you'll have 30 minutes notice, or whatever number, everyone always, rockets, everyone has different numbers for all this, whenever they're talking about the same thing, that's a whole other thing, but it's 30 minutes or whatever, and, and you'll know it, and, you, and we'll, we'll know it's coming too, and you won't be able to do a goddamn thing, and this nuke is just gonna get ya, and it's so scary, and, well, like, slow down a second here, okay? So, we know how explosions work, we know how fire works, right? So, you have an explosion. Now, it's true that there's some types of explosives that are better than others, right? Your TNT is better than your black powder, and then your C4, well, that's better than your TNT. And you can have the same volume of each of these explosives, and um, you light them off, and 
you get a bigger boom for each one, right? You get black powder, you get a boom, you get the dynamite, you get a bigger boom, and you get the C4, and you get an even bigger boom. So it stands to reason, of course, that if you had, like, this thing that no one can understand how, you know, it's a quantum physics. No one understands quantum physics. That's the tagline of quantum physics. Um, and it's just even more efficient. So efficient that the numbers literally don't make sense. That you could have this much energy in that much space, even if you have an efficient way of releasing it all from the atom, there's only so much there. You don't, you don't, you don't get free lunch. <laughs> it's the cosmos we're talking about here. We all live in the same place, don't we? <laughs> so, what is going on? <laughs> because they nuked Japan, right? They nuked Japan. They had the plane. They loaded up with the nukes. They dropped the nuke over. They have the people that flew the planes. They got the uh, eyewitness reports of the people that didn't get killed. They're like, yes, we saw the plane fly over. It dropped the bomb. Boom. The city goes up. You go there. There's no city anymore. Whatever. It's all horrible. You... Go with your scanner. Yeah, there's radiation everywhere, just like they said. There, it's this ex crazy thing you just don't understand, and it's just horrible and destructive. And uh, boom. Okay, so we have this amazing bomb. We have all of the leverage. We can fucking kill anybody, right? Doesn't matter. Well, boom, we'll take out your city. No more war. Then why is there still war? Huh? You have the leverage. I got a bomb this fucking big. I can blow up your whole fucking city. There is no leverage because it's not real. Because everyone goes like, okay, and they, they listen and they try to recreate it, but it doesn't fucking work. They can't get it to work. They go and they, they do everything. They set it up and boom, you get an explosion, but it's not a huge fucking explosion. And you get radiation everywhere, and that's fucking horrible. But it doesn't fucking work. And so, ha ha ha. You don't have any leverage over me. I can go kill anybody I want. Let's go fucking kill people over here. Kill people over here. Take their shit. Take their shit. No one can stop us. You don't have any leverage. We don't have any leverage. Nukes aren't real. So what the fuck happened in Japan? Well, what the fuck happened in Nova Scotia? Nova Scotia, New Scotland. You know, we had an explosion here once. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Bad fucking explosion. It was back in the early 1900s. The Halifax explosion. What happened? Well, normal day in the harbor. And this French ship comes in, or it's a ship with French crew, and the boat is full of explosives. Armory, boat, whatever, just standard military thing, right? They come into the harbor, and their boat catches fire. And they have a fire going on the boat. And so they start hauling around everybody. Fire, 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 help, 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 help. But Nova Scotia is a British colony. Everyone speaks English. Culturally, if you're French, fuck off. Like, 
was a French. They don't like we'll go do the effort to to learn French. But they don't do the effort to learn English, and there's this whole thing where no one wants to talk to each other. So fuck the French, and and so the French are oh, okay, whatever in French. Help, help, help. There's explosives on board, and no one knows what's going on. They just and they kind of maybe see a bit of a fire, like the fire. I don't know where it was, whatever. But anyways. And then the ship explodes. Boom! At 9.05 a.m. And, uh... They have this... They have this museum in Halifax. And they just go on a class trip a couple times, I think. And, uh, Pier 21. Used to be the Halifax used to be the big immigration spot because that's like where you the ships come over. You're gonna hit fuck Halifax, um, and so I wanted to immigrate through there and at Pier Twenty One, and so they have this museum there, and it's dedicated to the Halifax explosion, and so they have all of this this stuff there. All the clocks frozen at nine oh five. The watches and ones that hang on the walls or whatever. It's commercially play on TV where. Uh, there was someone like far back from the harbor, and they they see this happening, and they they the, the telegram office or whatever, and they go and they're tapping on the telegram, help, 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 or ship on fire, ship on fire, and boom, a message out, I think, and then they were gone. And, uh, we knew a goddamn thing about it. We just, uh, we just, uh, cleaned it up and rebuilt the city, moved on, took it on the chin, and that's that, right? <laughs> How the hell did they blow up that city in Japan? <laughs> oh, it's such a long, long story. Oh, man, how long have I been going for here? Jeez, I don't know. Maybe we just start at the end and then once it gets good, I'll stop. <laughs> so you got a plane. Drops a bomb, of course. 
I'm watching the bomb. Well, some uranium, probably. You gotta have some uranium, that's the story. The dirty bomb. Put a little uranium in there, whatever fucking bomb you use, you get your fucking detectors out. They're gonna show up that it's. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's radiation. Better not just go here, we're gonna get sick. Don't investigate. <laughs> wow. Okay. So you got the plane. It's got maybe some uranium in it to be dirty. Well, it's got some other kind of explosion, but just the, you know, the little spark to get things going. Okay. What's getting going, eh? <laughs> well. What's the best explosive? Sodium and water. Now, you might have heard of sodium before. You know, your salt. Eat sodium. What's well, sodium chloride? It's got some chlorine on it. It rounds it off. Makes it all safe to handle. And... Sodium? <laughs> Sodium? It's like extremely sharp almost. And it splits the atomic bond between the hydrogen and the oxygen in water. The atomic bond, the atomic bomb, the hydrogen bomb. It splits. Okay, now you have hydrogen and sodium, and you have oxygen. And now the oxygen, that's what you need to burn. Combines with it, boom, <laughs> baby, boom. <laughs> so, where do you get all the sodium? Where do you put it so that it all goes boom? Hmm. <laughs> so, no, 